you're doing well, I'm doing well, because as you saw in the title of this video, I'm about to eat some snacks. And I'm, um, first of all, I'm really excited to find out where they're from. Um, in the title of the video, it probably says the name of the country that the snack box is from, but at this time as I'm filming, I have this box right in front of me. Um, I have not opened the box yet, so I thought it'd be fun if I filmed it as I find out and we can be surprised together, sort of, except you all already know, <laughs> but I don't. Yeah. And it's currently raining pretty heavily where I am right now. Um, so you might hear some rain sounds in the background. <laughs> A little extra relaxation. Yeah. So before I get started, I'm um, actually opening with my scissors here. These scissors are from 7-Eleven. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, which is trytreats.com. Um, I was really excited when I saw that they reached out to me for a collaboration. As I'm sure you all have noticed, I do not do collaborations very often. I think I've done like one before. Um, cause I just want to make sure it's a brand that I'm personally interested in and like something I would actually be interested in purchasing myself. Um, but yeah, this was right up my alley. As you all know, I'm very interested in traveling and, um, learning about other cultures. And I think a really great way to do that is through different cultures food. So I just really like the idea of, um, trying different snacks from around the world. Um, in case you don't know much about trytreats.com, they have like a snack subscription service where each month they curate um, like a snack collection from a particular country and it'll be like, I don't know, stuff like crackers or chips or cookies or candies, and all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, so if it's something you're interested in or even I think it would be a cool gift idea, something to get for a friend. Um, then you are very welcome to check out the affiliate link in my description box. It's a special link. If you use the code um, ASMR Elise, then you will get 15% off of your very first purchase. Um, it's trytreats.com, your first box. Yeah, so that code was ASMR Elise. That's me. <laughs> and make sure to use the link. Um, my special link that's in the description box, okay. I'll write all those details in the description box, so no worries. Um, yeah, check it out if you want to. Okay, let's get into opening this now. I don't want to wait anymore. Okay, yeah, I have a different camera set up because I wanted you to be able to see more. You can't even see my desk, maybe. was addressed was so cute. They like the name on the box says ASMR release. Um, so when it was delivered to my door, like the way that packages are delivered in Japan, a lot of the time they um, take it straight to your door and they won't just leave it there. They want to like give it to you in your hands. So you have to like meet with the person and they always confirm the name and they say, um, ka? or something like that. Or they'll just say the name. So like Alice Deska. Alice Sama Deska. I think is this Elise? Or whatever the name on the box is. But anyway, obviously ASMR Elise. It's kind of a funny name. So when the guy delivered the box, um he looked a little confused and he pointed at it and he was like, Kore wa ta jobu desu ka? Like, is this okay? And I was like, hi, watashi desu. <laughs> yeah, it's me. So I thought it was funny that they used my channel name <laughs> when sending it to me. It's cute. Yeah, okay. Something to open. I'm terrible at opening things. Not my special. Thank you. 
Thanks for accepting a box of international snacks from TryTreats.com. Um, create an exclusive coupon code ASMR release containing a 15% off discount. Um, add this link to share with your subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> already told you all that. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna include the links to their social media as well um, in the subscription box if you want to take a look at uh, all their like options and selections outside of what I show in this video. So you can take a look in the description for that. I'm so excited. I don't know where I think it's from. I don't know. You know what would be really funny if I got one from Japan? Because I'm here in Japan. <laughs> but I think that they know I'm in Japan, so maybe they wouldn't send me one to Japan. Or maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm honestly going to be ecstatic with whatever you can see. I'm going to show you all the blue box. I don't know why British accent just came out the blue box. <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot of like British. Uh, media popping up on my social media. Actually, people speaking with British accents. And then it's rubbing off of me. <laughs> okay, take the box out of the box. And now we have another box to open. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. It says treats. Ah. Okay, there's more tape here for me to cut. Give me one moment, everyone. Sorry. Ambulance is coming. <laughs> okay. I have successfully cut the tape. Let's see. Move the mic. Let's see where these are from. Are we ready? Wait. How do you open this? I'm not making it difficult. Oh, it opens here. I'm so silly, I'm opening it upside down. Give me a moment, oh my god. I'm so embarrassing. Okay, anyway, here's the actual front of the box that says, explore the world through food. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dry treats. I'm, I'm. <sighs> this makes more sense. I was like, why can't I open this? It was literally upside down. might be the flag of the country. What flag is this? Oh my gosh. I'm not the best at flags. Is it? I feel like this is Central European country. I don't know for sure. I don't want to mess up the flag. It's so cute. Maybe not obviously, but I've never been to Poland. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how to pronounce this. Are there any Polish people out there who can tell me the correct pronunciation of this city? It's like G-D-A-N-S-K Gdansk Gdansk <laughs> I don't speak Polish. This is amazing. Okay. Explore Poland with treats. Poland facts. Population 38 million one hundred twenty two thousand six hundred fifty nine as of 2018 language polish i don't know any polish like i'm i'm a, a linguist um linguistics is my field of specialty my field of study my major my degree blah 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 and i don't know any polish i'm sorry oh wow 
Capital, Warsaw, Climate, Temperate, Government Type, Parliamentary Republic, GDP, <laughs> 1.111 1 trillion, National Holiday Constitution Day, May 3rd. Did you know Poland's formal name is... This looks like it's in Polish. Sorry, I'm gonna get this really bad. Rzeczpolityka Polska, Republic of Poland. Poland's national anthem is Dabrowski's Mazurek, the anthem, commonly known as... Oh, that's a lot of Polish words. Uh, the last Polish monarch, Stanislaw Poniatowski, died in prison in St. Peter Petersburg, Russia in, 19 in 1798. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. Take in the experience of Poland by listening to music from Poland while you <laughs> munch on Polish treats. Visit trytreats.com slash music for a Polish music playlist. That's, that's incredible. So apparently, Try Treats also puts together a playlist of music from the country that the snacks are from. I love that. I'm a huge fan of listening to music from around the world. Music in any language, it doesn't matter if I don't understand it. Oh, this is incredible. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, and then there's a card that says everything here. A little trace. Show you all. There's so many different types of snacks. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There's Torunski by Kopernik Serka, which is a gingerbread cookie and made from a traditional recipe. Um, there's Aha by E. Vettel, um, individually packaged sesame snacks. It's a go-to sesame snack, okay. There's a cream wafer, Familine cream wafer, hazelnut milk chocolate wafer by Prince Polo, Paluski, um, which is a salt stick, Delfina by Solidarnatskvi, <laughs> chocolate, more chocolate, I love chocolate, this is so great. I can't get over how excited I am about this. I'm so glad I decided to do this collaboration, guys. Like, this is... I honestly, I would have paid them to do this collaboration. I'm... This is awesome. <laughs> I'm such a terrible businesswoman. Literally, this is... This is incredible. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Oh. Kukierki. And Krauka Milk Cream Fudge. Palekski. Okay, okay. I'm just going to start eating. Ah! Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start, but we have to try everything. Oh my gosh. I haven't had dinner. I purposely did not eat dinner because I wanted to be absolutely starving for this because I knew there was going to be a big box of snacks. <laughs> so, I am indeed very hungry. I think I'm going to start with anything savory first. So let me take a look at the list here and see. So gingerbread, I think sesame snaps might sound really good. Um, I think salt sticks also sounds really good to start. Strawberry flavored corn. Puffs with no gluten or added sugar? That sounds unreal. Hmm. I think I'll try that one. It's Palek. Pa Palek. <laughs> I'm struggling, guys. I don't know how to say this. And hello. This. I don't know if it's focusing. But that's what we're gonna try first. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's huge. It's so big. Okay. I'm just gonna go in. We're just gonna eat. Oh. It's a very light smell. 
strawberry I am. Did I read it correctly? Strawberry flavored corn puffs. I've never heard of anything like that. I'm trying to read the labels as if I can read Polish. <laughs> to see if there's any description on it. But look at it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Mmm. melts in your mouth. It's just so satisfying to bite into. And the flavor is very, very mild. Like, this is something you could just snack on mindlessly because you're bored and you want to eat. Like, this is it. I feel like I could eat the whole bag. Especially when it comes to, like, puffed, uh, puffed, what is this? Corn puffs. Like, puffed corn or even puffed rice snacks. I feel like you could literally just go through five pounds of it. It's just like eating nothing. Okay. I'm gonna come back to that later. I'm gonna try one of everything first and then do like a little ranking system to see what the top ones were. So, let's see. We have this one, which I think this is the salt stick. Yeah, Palutski. Which to me looks a lot like pretzels. I don't know if it looks like pretzels to you guys, but it really looks like pretzels to me. I'm not sure what to expect. Mm. Okay, weirdly enough, it smells like cereal. tastes like a pretzel. It's very pretzel-y. Um, Polish people, could you please tell me if this is supposed to be the same or different from a pretzel? I'm curious, like, could this, uh, what this is exactly? Is it a pretzel? I mean, I'm not a pretzel connoisseur. I'm not someone who knows much about pretzels. I should probably call up my German friend. My German friend, he's so funny. He's so, like, strict about pretzels. <laughs> like, he's so... Side note, story time. There was this, like, German beer festival <laughs> in Japan, which is so funny to me that they have a German beer festival. And he's German, so he went. He was curious, and he wanted to get a German style, like big soft pretzel. He said it was like disgusting, like the worst thing ever. And every time he tries a pretzel, he's like, "No, it's not not authentic." So I'd have to ask him what he thinks about this. What do German people think about like the snack type of pretzels? If this is a pretzel, because I don't. There's like the soft pretzel bread, and there's like these, which are really common in the United States. Like I ate some pretzels that looked like this a lot growing up. So yeah, a lot of questions for the Polish folks, the German folks out there, or just anyone who has any knowledge about it. I don't know so much about a lot of European cultures, countries, European countries' cultures. Admittedly, I don't, I don't know much. Um, I think I've learned more recently in my time here in Japan just from other international students who are from Europe. I've learned from them, which is pretty cool. Mm. I'm eating so much. <laughs> These are good. Yeah, it's like a really light, like almost buttery kind of lightness, but it's not greasy or anything like that. But like a pretzel. I'm going to put these here. I think I want to try something sweet now to kind of 
balance out the saltiness. So, what about gingerbread? Gingerbread sounds good. Or should I do chocolate? There's a lot of chocolate. Milky creamy fudge. What's this one? I don't know what this is. Guys, what is this? Croca milk cream fudge. You'll notice these Polish Polish fudge candies are different from American fudge. They're soft and crumbly and they'll melt in your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Let me show you. I like the size. It's very like bite-sized. <laughs> Something just easy to eat on the go. Oh. Looks like caramel. It looks like caramel. There's a caramel color here. Should I take a bite of it or should I like just put the whole thing up take a bite of it? Okay, they're so weird about the texture. It broke off in like flakiness. Oh my god. This is so good. This is incredible. To be a packaged candy and have this like this richness and this texture and like the way it melts in my mouth it reminds me of a really expensive like caramel type or fudge that I would get from this local like candy chocolate shop um in this place in the United States that was really touristy that a lot of people would go to um yeah which was like a huge treat really expensive and like freshly made there and this is packaged and it tastes just as good that's first you bite into it and it's in your mouth and you don't quite taste it it hits you after a few like more seconds And I'm intrigued by the texture. I don't understand this texture. It's like raw card on the outside, but then once you bite, it's like, and it just flakes off. And then it just melts away. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm eyeing next. I believe, ooh. I believe these are gingerbread cookies. Um, this is the Torunski by Kopernikserka, which is a traditional gingerbread recipe. Actually, I really like gingerbread. It's very, very rare that I have it. I don't think I've had it in years. It reminds me of Christmas, like making gingerbread houses something we do in the United States, uh, especially when you're kids and you decorate them. I remember I have an older brother and growing up, growing up with my brother, and whenever we made a gingerbread house, when we were finished, we would take it out in the driveway and like demolish it, just like break it into nothing. I don't know why we did that <laughs> or why my mom encouraged us to Anyway, <laughs> we didn't eat it, <laughs> but I will be eating these. All right, let's go. Let's open. Whoa. I wish you could smell this. First of all, look at this. I'm very confused by the texture. It doesn't look like gingerbread. The United States gingerbread, it looks just like a, like a cracker, like a hard dark brown snap, you know? This almost looks like it has a glaze on it, and the smell hits you, it's like bang. I don't know what this is, cloves? What's in gingerbread? Is it ginger? Mm. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna get a sip of water to cleanse my palate so that I can get like a full flavor taste of this. Here's my cute water bottle has flowers on it. It's from Starbucks. The logo is wearing off. 
Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. <gasps> Stop. It's so cute. It's a heart. It's a heart. Look at this. It's so cute. Oh. It's too cute to eat, but it smells delicious, so I'm going to eat it. Okay, ready? Okay, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a crunch or a snap. Because in America, gingerbread is very hard. Almost like stale. Staleness hard. But this is very soft. It's a kind of, um... It almost has a little like chewiness to it but it's soft and flakes but then it's like cakey I can't, I don't know I've never had like a texture like this um, the flavor I thought the flavor was gonna be stronger based off of the smell but it smells stronger than it tastes mm. This is really good. The cinnamon. Um, one thing I'll say. It is not too sweet. And I felt the same way about the previous sweet snack. It was not too sweet, even though it was literally like a caramel or a chocolate fudge, which is straight up sugar usually. It wasn't too sweet. It's more about the like richness or depth of the flavor, which I like really hits. This would be good with a hot cup of coffee on a cold morning. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna have one of these with my breakfast tomorrow with my hot coffee shoot. I was just drinking hot coffee before this video. I wish I still had some. It's too late to have more. I've already had three cups today. Hmm. Mm. I'm obsessed. I want to know if you're Polish, if you've been to Poland, what is your favorite Polish snack? And is it here in this box? Have you seen it? Have you tried any of these? Let me know. I want to talk to someone about this. I don't know, I feel like I'm entering a whole new world. Polish snacks! Whoa! <laughs> I want to go to Poland. What the heck? This is awesome. Thank you. I'm so happy. Alright, so we've tried four things. Four things. We had our salt sticks, which were like pretzels. First we did the strawberry um, corn puff sticks. Those were really like fresh. Um, and we did the caramel chocolate fudge thing. And then just the gingerbread. So far I'd have to say that my favorite was the uh, soft milk cream fudge. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying caramel. It just reminds me of a caramel. I think in America we would call it a caramel, but the milk cream fudge. Yeah, I think that was my top one so far because the flavor was just so incredible. I wish you need to taste it. It's so good. Um, and then number two, the gingerbread. Number three, I'm going to say a tie between the, the salt sticks because it's just, it's not something that was like, wow, I've never had anything like this because it was very similar to a pretzel if even maybe it is a pretzel, I don't know. Um, and then the other one was really like enjoyable, but not as like bang, th this is crazy <laughs> as much as the other, other two. So, okay, what shall we do next? I'm thinking either the sesame one with honey. I love sesame. I'm a big fan of sesame. Um, and I like 
when something savory is mixed with something sweet so i really like the idea of like the nutty sesame flavor with honey it sounds like it'll be delicious um and then i'm also looking at the there's two different ones with hazelnut and i'm so excited because i love hazelnut hazelnut's probably one of my favorite flavors it's one of my favorite things to have in coffee which is really rare in japan i don't there's not many like nut flavor things in japan which i'm really sad about like I'm about to go on another Starbucks rant, as it, yeah, y'all know, I worked at Starbucks for like two years in the United States, and some of my favorite flavors were, in the Christmas time, there's a chestnut praline, which is delicious if you like a hazelnut sort of warm flavor, um, and then there's a toffee nut syrup, which is like hazelnut, but much better in my opinion. Um, yeah, and those are all my favorites, those nutty type of flavors. But in Japan, Starbucks, they don't have hazelnut even. There's no nutty flavors, which is really sad. So anyway, I'm really excited to see two snacks here with hazelnut flavor in them. Or actual hazelnuts, I don't know. Um, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? I think I'm gonna do this Prince Polo, which is Hazelnut Milk Chocolate Wafer by Prince Polo. Four layer chocolate wafer with hazelnut milk chocolates. This is Poland's best selling candy. So, hello Polish people, have you tried this? <laughs> Apparently it's the best selling candy in Poland. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I have a feeling this is going to be really good. Mm. Okay, it's a little melty, but that's okay. Ooh, I dropped something. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay. I say that in my head a lot. It's Japanese. It means like, it literally translates like, it's this. I think it's like, if you try something and you're like, oh my god, this is it. This is the one. This is so good. I heard one of my boyfriend's lab members say it. We went out to dinner. Um, like some of his lab group members and they brought out the food we were getting Chinese food and they brought out this like massive massive portion because a lot of like the Chinese restaurants I think it's a cultural thing they just serve a ton of food um, I sat it down in front of him and he just went <laughs> it was so funny to me it was the first time I heard it here so I've been saying it ever since <laughs> this is it Mmm. I love this. And again, it's not too sweet, which I love. American candy is just, I like them because I grew up on them, obviously. But as I got older, I just couldn't take such like sweetness in your face. And something like this, I would much prefer. I want to eat all of it, but at the same time, I don't want to eat all of it because I want to have more for later. I'm gonna do like one more small bite. It reminds me of something, but I can't place it. I cannot place it. I just dropped it. for type of cookie, cracker. I'm not sure what it qualifies as. Okay, what to categorize it as. 
Okay, now it's sesame snack time. This is Amki, Amki to go sesame snack with honey, gluten free. I notice a lot of these snacks are gluten free, and I don't know if that's necessarily like a common characteristic of Polish snacks, or if that's just trytreats.com um, accommodating to people who need gluten free things or prefer gluten free things, people with celiacs. But either way, it's cool. Personally, I'm okay with gluten, but you know, we love the inclusivity. And it says good source of fiber. Spelled the British way. Like the R E, not the E R. Looks like fibre. If it's Spanish like fibre. <laughs> good source of fibre. <laughs> Every time I see like the British spellings, I miss you. Okay. Oh yeah. Smell it. I wish you could smell it. It hits you. Sesame. I love sesame, especially after coming here. I love sesame. Japan also seems to love sesame. It's everywhere. And it's also a lot of the time in desserts. Um, so it's interesting to see a similar concept in Poland, the other side of the world, Japan. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's very hard. It's like extremely hard. Am I supposed to eat the whole thing? Or take it apart? Wait, I'm confused. No, these are stuck together. Okay. Ah. Am I weak? Or is this too hard? What's the deal? I think I need to bite it like that. I'm sure you all heard that crunch. Yeah, I like this. The texture, I'm not too sure about. Because it's very, like, it's not sticky itself. Really, oh, it is a little bit. But um, when you chew, it gets all in your molars. Because, I mean, that's to be expected with sesame. Because they're just little seeds. And there's, like, whole sesame seeds. Um, and then you add the honey, it just gets real sticky. And it's really difficult to bite, but the flavor is great. I like this. I do. I like it a lot. It's just like a workout to eat. Maybe if you want to strengthen your jaw, <laughs> eat this. Like you can't bite it with the front teeth. I feel like I'm going to hurt it. Mm. I'm going to try one more strawberry thing too. This one's so fun. It's so like, like the shape, and it's, it's like I, it could be a magic wand or like bada bing, or like I don't know. I just want to hit someone with it. Like, <laughs> like this is ASMR Elise, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> There's only four left. So we have the break, hazelnut break, which I think I'm going to save for last because it looks the most delicious. We have these really big wafers, the Family Cream Wafers, um, which has vanilla flavored cream. Looks really delicious. I might go with that one next. We have a hard candy one, which is a citrus caramel candy. Interesting flavor combination. Um, it says a variety of designs that are unique, a unique hallmark of Polish candy tradition. The designs are really cute. I'll show you all when we get there. And then we have Delfina by Solid Darnot not Solid Um which is a chocolate decorated with white chocolate, creamy and silky with rich chocolate taste. I think that's everything we have left. So 
What do you think, guys? I think I'm gonna go with wafer. First of all, these wafers are huge. Like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's massive. Um, so I'm just gonna try one. Now, I love wafers, like I said. So I think this is gonna be good too. And I like that they sent me two varieties of wafers the vanilla and then like the richer chocolate hazelnut one. I, I didn't know that wafer snacks were a Polish thing. So I, I did have something like this growing up in the United States, um, but not quite as yummy as the one that I tried already. Wait a minute, this is huge. Um, how do you eat this? It's just like a big, just a huge, can I break it? Okay. So, ah, this is two. Oh my god. Okay. I think since I touched them, I have to eat both. Mmm. Mmm. This is different. Not the flavor I was expecting or the texture. This is definitely crunchier. Crunchier than other wafers that I've had and again not as in your face sweet but the vanilla flavor is different it's it's a, it's not mm. I think this is a good dipping one dip this in your coffee your hot chocolate whatever like especially because it does have that harder crunch to it on the outside I'm gonna save the other one for now I don't want to get too full before I get through the whole box. Okay, little pretzel break. Pretzel, I'm sorry. Salt stick. Pa, pa, no, paluski. just too elegant like it just looks beautiful excuse my hair I don't know what's going on in there because I told you guys it was raining and I got caught in the rain today never a good thing never a good thing okay let's open excuse me please open the shape is confusing me it has like a hollowed out kind of arch. I'm a little confused, but I guess we'll figure it out when we open it. If we can open it. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. We're gonna be very careful with her because she is delicate. Well, I opened it upside down and backwards. Good. Delphine? She must be Delphine. Hello, Delphine. Oh, that's rich. I'm just gonna take a little bite. Very rich chocolate. And there's some sort of filling. very rich. I see why they just sent me one. And one is enough. This is rich. Mm. Okay, I feel like one bite and you're good. Mm. It's delicious though. Mm. I'm gonna set this aside because it is rich. Wow. I'm not sure what the filling is. It's yummy though. I like the texture. It's kind of squishy. It's not a hard chocolate like where you, you feel like a snap to it, like it's gonna break. It's like you bite and it just kind of molds in with your teeth. But the flavor is rich. I love it. 
Again, this would be great with like black coffee even. Like a bite of this, sip of the coffee. Mm. Or maybe it's just me and I'm obsessed with coffee and everything's good with coffee. <laughs> okay, and then there were two. Okay, I said that I was gonna do this one last, but I've changed my mind. It makes the most sense to do a hard candy last since that takes a long time to eat. So we'll end with the hard candies. I'm going to try a hazelnut break. But first, I'm gonna have another one of these. I'm so happy. Let me tell y'all, I was very low on food. Because I've been traveling a lot lately. So I've been eating out, obviously, not home. And I have not gotten groceries. So, like, I don't have food tonight, and it's raining so much that I did not feel it going out. So, I'm so happy. It's very good timing that I got this snack box. Because <laughs> now I have food. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I've been looking forward to this one. This is Break by Goblana. Which is a smooth, rich milk chocolate with creamy flavor. For a burst of flavor, you can chew on it or have the chocolate and cream melt in your mouth. Perfect treat to enjoy on the go. I mean, we're not on the go, but it still seems like a perfect treat to enjoy. I'm gonna have some water. I keep going like this because my water is on the floor. I don't know why. I should just keep it on my desk here. <laughs> She's a little melty, that's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Oh, it's in pieces. It's in pieces. It's crunchy. What is this? Should I bite it? I'm just gonna bite it. What? Not what I was expecting. What? What is this? Okay, flavor. 10. The hazelnut is there. The chocolate's there, but not too much. And it has this, again, like the wafer texture. This thin wafery texture, and then a cream on the inside. I think it's hazelnut cream and chocolate on the outside. It tastes kind of like Ferrero Rocher is the closest thing. I think that's like the only hazelnut type candy that's common in the United States. The Ferrero Rocher hazelnut things. But I like this better because I love the texture. And I think the balance of flavors is better. Like, not too sweet. That's a really common theme. But sweet enough, for sure. Oh my gosh. My mom would love this. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just licking the wrapper. I could easily eat this whole thing and then eat a whole nother one. But I'm gonna save it and go through and take turns again with all of them. Probably off camera because this video is way too long already. I'm enjoying this way too much. Okay. I'm this this sad video has no business being this long. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I'm having too much fun here. We're down to the last one. This is Kukierki. Kutruski. Sutruski. I'm sorry. By Astra. Looks like this. And you can see these lovely fruit designs. Um, which there is something on about that in the notes. About how it's um, a hallmark of Polish candies. I wonder if the flavors are different according to the picture, the fruit that's pictured on them. This one looks like a watermelon. This looks like an apple. I think this is apple. Okay. Oh my gosh, it kind of does taste like apple. So. Citrus caramel candy is what this is called. 
so I guess it's not supposed to be apple flavored because this is citrus caramel. Is it apple? I don't know. Definitely some sort of fruitiness and I'm getting like the caramel. It's, it's creamy. Mm. It's not like most American fruity hard candies. Like I think of Jolly Ranchers or something. Just like really artificial and strong and kind of like eating glass is like the texture that I can think of. The glass that melts in your mouth. This is more creamy. Creamy. And a much more subtle fruity flavor. Let me think about my rankings. I'll give you my top top three. So definitely my top three has to be the gingerbread. The Torunski. I loved the gingerbread cookies. I've never had anything like that. That was probably the, also the most surprising thing was the gingerbread cookies. Um, just the texture and everything was really pleasantly surprising. Um, and then I loved the hazelnut milk chocolate wafer by Prince Polo. That's definitely my top three. Oh gosh, to pick another one. Mm. It's probably going to be Break by Goblana. <clears throat> Either... Oh, I'm in between the hazelnut cream one and this one. And then the milk... What is this? The milky fudge candies? I think this is going to be my top three, yeah. So it's the gingerbread cookies. These milk caramel fudge candies. And the, what did I say was the other one? Oh yes, the hazelnut um, chocolate wafer principle. Just this one. Those are my favorites. All sweet ones. <laughs> mm. And least favorite. I feel, that feels wrong to say least favorite because I really enjoyed all of them. Um, but least favorite, I guess I'll have to say the aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the sesame snap one, and I loved the flavor. I love sesame and I love honey. I think it's just because of the texture and how hard it was to bite that I'll have to put it at the bottom, but still very enjoyable and I would still eat it and I'm gonna finish it. Yeah. Mmm, okay. This video is way too long. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> that was so fun. I'm still chewing on this, sorry, but I just want to say a huge thank you to TryTreats.com for sending me these incredible snacks from Poland. I've never tried these before. I've never tried anything like them before. So it was a really cool experience and I'm so happy that I got to eat these today and share them with all of you all. So if you want to have your own snack trying experience from uh, some snacks from somewhere in the world, Go ahead and check out that link in the description, and don't forget to use a special code ASMR release for 15% off. Okay, thank you all for watching if you've made it this far especially. And yeah, big thanks again to TryTweets.com. This was incredible. I absolutely loved everything, so goodbye everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.